Yo, what is up guys, DNGL back at it again with another YouTube video. Now for today, I'm going to be bringing you guys the best tournament rewards that you guys should be picking up. Now it's been quite a while since I've done the last one of these type of videos. It's been week 24 was my last video and it's now week 42. So yeah, that's 18 weeks since my last video, but you know, I'm back. Uh, so I'm going to be able to bring you guys the best advice on which rewards that you should be choosing in this week's tournament. Now, this week's tournament, I believe, has actually pretty good rewards. Um, for tier 1, get, the, get yourself the bronze boost pack. Now, if you do not know what that is, that is 20 bronze players, 5 bronze game plans, 10,000 coins, and 1,500 XP. Now, just, to, just so I can give you a clear sense of how much this is actually worth, bronze players are selling for 400 each. And you get 20 of them, which means you'll get about $8,000 8, uh, coins worth of bronze players. And also, I believe that bronze game plans, they're selling for 3,000. Yeah, they're selling for 3,000 coins, and you get five of them, 1,500. The 8,000 from your play, from your bronze players, plus the 1,500 from here, plus the 10,000. Boom, you just got yourself a solid 33,000 coins from only a tier 1 reward, which is really solid. Now pick number two, I think you guys should go and get the silver box, it's quite similar to the first tier. The bronze boost, you get 15 silver players, 3 silver game plans, 15,000 coins, and a little bit of the XP. Just to give you an idea of how much of that is worth, go on to silver players, I believe that they're selling for around 1200, not 12,000, that would be insane, but 1200 coins. Yep, these bronze silver players are selling for around 1200 coins they're getting sniped for 1200 coins actually i don't think that they sell more than 13 than 1300 but um yeah 1300 you know you know what i'm saying here bro like they're they sell for a lot of coins bro um once you got this in total it'll be about twenty thousand coins i'm guessing and then you get three uh three silver game plans at about i think it's like eight thousand each for the worst ones, not even, not even 10,000. Boom, yeah, they're selling for 10,000 coins. You get three of them, boom, that's 30,000. You get your about 20,000 from your players. You get your 3,000 from here, 30,000 from here. Boom, you're sitting at 50,000 right there. Plus so you get the 15,000 coin boost straight up from that uh, box. So boom, that's $65,000, dollar, 15, 65,000 coins worth value just in the silver box itself so that is really sweet tier number three go get yourself a gold box now this one's actually pretty damn good it's five gold players one gold game plan 20,000 coins and 4,000 xp now gold players i believe that they're selling for like 2,500 or something i think Nah, they're selling for around 2,000 for 2,000 coins. So you get five of them. Boom, that's 10,000. Uh, nobody really cares about that. But the way, the main way you can make some bank off of this is from the game plans. Now, the gold game, the worst ones you can get are 40,000 coins. And that is only if you get the absolute worst one and typically there are some really good game plans out there, especially ones that are like Hail Mary, you know. They're not even out. Um, Hail Mary, you know, hundred thousand coins for a Hail Mary, and this is a, like a kind of a okayish one. There's like a strong eye. I believe that there's some pretty expensive game plans you can get. Like um, this one's probably not that uh, probably not that expensive, but this one halfback option. Um, yeah, there, there's there's just generally a lot of. Uh, expensive game plans like this one is also it's it's not the best as well i remember i had a yeah this one is worth a lot of money a lot of coins if you get this i believe i first bought it for around like six hundred thousand coins so you can make some serious bank off of these gold game plans um so put a minimum of 50 40 000 coins Get your 10,000 coins off of your players, you know, get that 25, I think it was like 20,000 coins from the actual box itself. Yeah, boom, you're going to be sitting at 70,000 coins for this gold box, which is not bad at all. 
I, I suggest you stay away from that $75,000 $75, coin option just because you have a good chance of pulling a game plan that is worth more than 40,000 coins upwards of probably, I don't know what they are worth now, like 200,000 or something. So you can get some serious bank off of that. Tier four, I believe it's just, it's just really your choice. If you guys are not, they're kind of finished with campus heroes, then definitely get yourself your ultimate legend badge. But if you're just a little bit away from your um, ultimate, from your uh, campus hero master that you're looking for, pick yourself up some tenants. You know what I'm saying, dog. Anyway, um, tier five, I, I think that this is really not a choice at all. Uh, you gotta get yourself the 90 overall ultimate legend player. I think that these are gonna be auctionable as well if I vote. As I do believe that they, do not quote me on this, but I believe that these ultimate legends are gonna be auctionable. See, 200,000. Yeah, boom, look at these. They're getting, these badges are worth 200,000, my god. Yeah, these are worth quite a bit of coins, you guys. Definitely go get yourself your 90 overall ultimate legend. Holy Jesus. 400,000. There we go. Now we're starting to see some of them. 400,000 coins for ultimate legends. You know what I'm saying? You gotta pick that up. You know what? Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of ranting on now, but yeah, that's gonna be my um my first best tournament rewards video for a long time S since a long time. Oh, I I can't English right now. Um. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it helps you out in which rewards you're gonna be choosing. Um, that's gonna be it for the for me today, guys. I'm gonna take a little break because I can't talk right now. Peace out, guys.